In the span of our lives, we've all faced moments that made us want to crawl into a hole and disappear. These aren't just blips on the radar of our existence, they can shape how we see ourselves and the world around us. But what if I told you that some of the greatest philosophers of ancient times, the Stoics, had uncovered secrets that could make these moments of embarrassment not only bearable, but empowering? Today, we're diving deep into the wisdom of Stoicism to transform our most cringeworthy moments into our greatest strengths. This isn't just about avoiding embarrassment, it's about rewriting the script of our lives to live boldly, authentically and with resilience, no matter what comes our way. So, if you're tired of feeling held back by the fear of what others think, stick around. This journey might just change the way you face every tomorrow. If you know someone who struggles with the weight of embarrassment or could use a fresh perspective on how to live authentically, please share this video with them. If you appreciate what we're doing here, a simple free favor you can do is hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure not to skip any part of the video as each segment builds on the last to help you unlock a more fearless and fulfilling life. Let's get started. Understanding the Roots of Embarrassment It's fascinating when you think about it. Nobody is born feeling embarrassed. Newborns don't blush or hide. Those responses come later. As we grow, society wraps layers around us, rules about what is acceptable and what isn't, creating a mental blueprint of do's and don'ts. But where do these rules come from? They're often just reflections of cultural norms and personal biases handed down through generations like a set of old, dusty books that nobody really remembers why we keep. Stoicism introduces a compelling perspective here. It teaches us that external things, including societal judgments and norms, are not inherently good or bad. These values are assigned by human perceptions, which can be flawed and inconsistent. Stoics strive to understand the nature of things, separating their perceptions from their reactions. They remind us that the power to feel embarrassed or not doesn't lie in the event itself or in other people's opinions, but in our interpretation of those events and opinions. Think about the last time you felt embarrassed. Was it because you truly did something against your nature? or because you feared judgment based on societal expectations. Stoicism encourages us to question these external standards. Is the weight of embarrassment worth carrying if it's based on arbitrary standards that don't align with our true self? By getting to the roots of our embarrassment, we can start to see it for what it really is, often an unnecessary burden we choose to carry because we're taught to value others' opinions over our own understanding and virtue. Let's challenge that. Let's learn to look at these moments through a stoic lens, focusing on what truly matters, our own values and actions, not the fleeting judgments of others. As we peel back these layers, we not only understand the roots of our embarrassment, but also how we can free ourselves from them. The Stoic Path to Authenticity for the Stoics, being authentic isn't about following your impulses without thought, but rather aligning your actions with reason and virtue. It's about being true to your core self, not the self that society shapes through expectations and norms. Imagine stripping away every should and must that you've accumulated from others over the years. What are you left with? You find your core principles your true self that isn't swayed by the tides of popular opinion. This is the essence of Stoic authenticity, finding and adhering to your rational, virtuous self. But how do we apply this in everyday situations, especially those ripe for embarrassment? Let's say you're at a gathering and you laugh louder than anyone else at a joke, or you choose to share an unpopular opinion. The authentic Stoic response isn't to shrink in embarrassment, but to stand confidently in your truth. If your actions are not harming others and are guided by your true beliefs and values, then there is no real reason for embarrassment. 
This aligns perfectly with the Stoic belief that the only things truly worth valuing are those that depend entirely on us, our own virtues and judgments. Furthermore, this journey towards authenticity involves a continuous process of introspection and self-correction. It's about being mindful of the influences that sway us and actively choosing which influences to follow and which to reject. This doesn't mean we ignore the feelings of others, but that we prioritize our moral integrity over societal approval. The Stoic path teaches us that each person has their own set of virtues and vices, and comparing ourselves to others is not only unhelpful, but also misleading. By focusing on our own journey to authenticity, we can begin to understand that the approval of others is not a valid measure of our worth. Instead, our worth is measured by how closely our actions align with our rational and moral values. Forgiveness and Growth The Stoics, wise as they were, saw forgiveness not merely as a moral duty to others, but as a crucial part of self-care and personal development. This means forgiving not only those who have wronged us, but perhaps even more importantly, forgiving ourselves. Embarrassing moments can often leave us wallowing in self-criticism. How many times have you replayed a mistake in your mind, each time feeling a sting of shame as fresh as if it had just happened? This is where Stoic philosophy can be a beacon of guidance. It teaches us that mistakes are natural, an inevitable part of being human. What matters isn't the error itself, but what we learn from it and how we move forward. Forgiving ourselves is vital because without it, there's no room for growth. Holding on to past embarrassments binds us to that moment in time. And like the Stoics, we must remember that we cannot change what has already occurred. All we have is the present and the opportunity it offers to shape a better future. By forgiving ourselves, we free up energy that was once consumed by self-recrimination. This energy can then be redirected towards constructive self-improvement. The process of self-forgiveness also involves a rational assessment of our actions, which is another cornerstone of Stoic practice. It asks us to consider our actions in the light of reason. Were they within our control? Were they aligned with our values? If not, acknowledging these misalignments allows us to plan for more virtuous actions in the future. This is growth in its most authentic form, recognizing our imperfections and consciously striving to overcome them. Moreover, embracing growth through Stoicism means recognizing that each day presents new challenges and opportunities to practice virtues, such as courage, wisdom and moderation. Every embarrassing moment, every misstep, is a chance to test our commitment to these virtues. It's an opportunity to practice resilience, to get back up with a clearer understanding of who we are and a renewed focus on who we aspire to be. In embracing forgiveness and growth, we also learn to extend this understanding to others, realizing that everyone is on their own path, making their own mistakes and learning their own lessons. This fosters a sense of compassion and kinship, further enriching our own lives and the lives of those around us. Embracing Change and Challenges In Stoicism, we find a powerful ally for navigating the unpredictable currents of life. Stoics perceive every challenge, every change, as an indispensable part of our journey, integral to forging our character and honing our virtues. When embarrassment strikes, it's often at moments of change or challenge when we're pushed out of our comfort zones and exposed to the scrutiny of others. But consider this. What if we viewed these moments not as threats, but as opportunities? What if, instead of shrinking back, we leaned into these challenges with curiosity and a readiness to learn? This is the essence of the Stoic approach. Seeing every challenge as a chance to practice virtues like courage, temperance and wisdom. 
When we embrace change and challenges, we are essentially practicing what the Stoics call premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This practice involves visualizing potential challenges and setbacks and preparing oneself mentally to handle them. It's not about pessimism, but about strengthening our resilience. By contemplating the difficulties we might face, we reduce the shock and intensity when they do occur, and embarrassment is one such difficulty that can be mitigated in this way. Imagine the freedom that comes from this practice. When you've already faced your fears in your mind, the real-world scenario becomes less daunting. You're better equipped to handle it calmly and with grace. This mental rehearsal primes you to act with integrity and confidence, reducing the sting of embarrassment and enhancing your ability to navigate through it. Moreover, embracing change and challenges encourages us to break out of static patterns of behavior. It pushes us to grow, evolve and adapt. In the face of embarrassment, instead of retreating into a shell of self-doubt, we can ask ourselves, what can this teach me? Every moment of discomfort is packed with insights about our values, our fears and our limits. Insights that we can use to sculpt a more robust and flexible self. This approach doesn't just minimize the pain of embarrassing moments. It transforms them into stepping stones toward a more profound personal strength and understanding. Each challenge we face and navigate successfully reinforces our confidence and our trust in our ability to handle whatever life throws our way. Owning your story. When we truly own our story, we recognize that every experience, every error, and every embarrassing moment has contributed to the person we are today. This realization frees us from the shackles of past regrets and the fear of future judgments. It enables us to live in the present where we can exert real influence over our lives. Stoicism teaches us that our power lies not in altering events or opinions that are outside our control, but in changing our perceptions and reactions to them. By owning your story, you assert control over the narrative of your life. Instead of allowing others to define you by your past embarrassments, you can reframe these moments as crucial growth points. This isn't about rewriting history to make it more palatable. It's about understanding the role each experience has played in shaping your character and your values. When someone mentions a past mistake, you can acknowledge it openly and then steer the conversation towards how you learned from that experience and how it helped you develop virtues like resilience, wisdom or compassion. Moreover, owning your story involves a level of self-acceptance that is liberating. It means no longer hiding from the parts of your past that you fear might cause embarrassment. Stoicism doesn't just tolerate imperfections. It embraces them as integral to human existence. Just as a Stoic finds tranquility in accepting what they cannot change, you can find peace in accepting your full story. This acceptance doesn't make you complacent, but rather empowers you to live more authentically, aligning your actions with your true self. This stance also encourages us to lead by example. When we own our stories without shame, we inspire others to do the same. This creates an environment where openness and authenticity are valued over superficial perfection. It's a space where people feel safe to express themselves fully, without fear of embarrassment or judgment. So, let's continue to own our stories with pride and confidence. Let's recognize that each element of our past, including the embarrassing ones, has a place and purpose in our narrative. And through this ownership, let's embody the stoic ideal of living not at the mercy of external events and opinions, but as architects of our internal peace and self-respect. Breaking free from mental prisons. These mental prisons are the invisible barriers we build around ourselves. Barriers made of fear, self-doubt, and most often, the opinions of others. Stoicism teaches us that true freedom comes not from external circumstances, 
but from the mastery of our inner world. It's about recognizing that the only chains that can truly hold us back are the ones we forge in our own minds. Let's talk about these mental prisons. They're often constructed from the bricks of other people's judgments, societal expectations, and our own self-criticism. We might worry endlessly about what others think of us, fearing their disapproval as if it were a life sentence. But the Stoics remind us that these fears are illusions. They're not based on reality, but on perceptions that we allow to control us. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most renowned Stoic philosophers, wrote that we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This couldn't be more true when it comes to the prison of embarrassment and shame. When we're trapped in these mental prisons, we limit ourselves in countless ways. We avoid taking risks, speaking up, or being true to ourselves because we're afraid of how we might be perceived. But the Stoics challenge us to see these fears for what they are, mere opinions, not facts. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, taught that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our judgment of them. If we can change our judgment, we can change our experience. Breaking free from these mental prisons requires a shift in perspective. It's about recognizing that we have the power to choose our response to any situation, Instead of fearing embarrassment, we can decide to see it as an opportunity for growth. Instead of worrying about what others think, we can focus on living in accordance with our own values and principles. This is the essence of stoic freedom, living life on our own terms, guided by our inner compass rather than the shifting winds of external approval. This liberation also involves embracing the impermanence of life, Stoicism teaches us that everything external, our possessions, our reputation, even our relationships, is temporary. When we anchor our happiness to these fleeting things, we imprison ourselves. But when we recognize that true peace and freedom come from within, we start to dismantle those walls. We understand that no matter what happens outside of us, we have the power to maintain our tranquility and integrity, Breaking free from mental prisons is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing practice. It requires constant self-reflection and a commitment to living authentically. But each time we choose to act from a place of inner strength rather than fear, we chip away at those walls. And with each piece that falls away, we move closer to the life of freedom and fulfillment that Stoicism promises your life, your terms. As we wrap up our exploration of overcoming embarrassment through Stoicism, let's solidify a powerful realization. You have the ability to live your life on your terms. This is the ultimate freedom, the freedom to choose how you respond to life's challenges, including those awkward, embarrassing moments that once seemed like unbearable obstacles. Stoicism doesn't just offer a philosophical outlook, it provides practical tools that empower us to detach from external pressures and focus on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and reactions. This autonomy is liberating. When we live life on our terms, guided by Stoic principles, we're not buffeted by every wind of criticism or praise. Instead, we stand firm, rooted in our own values and virtues. Living on your terms means recognizing that your worth isn't tied to others' opinions. It's tied to your integrity and your ability to remain true to your principles in the face of life's fluctuations. It's about pursuing what genuinely matters to you, whether that aligns with societal expectations or not. This might mean choosing paths less traveled, expressing unpopular opinions, or embracing your unique quirks, all the things that make you, you. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us that life's beauty and its challenges are two sides of the same coin. Embracing this duality helps us appreciate the highs and navigate the lows with equanimity. Each challenge, each moment of embarrassment is a test 
and an opportunity to practice virtues like courage, resilience, and temperance. When viewed through this lens, life becomes a series of moments that are not just to be endured, but to be actively shaped according to your own vision and values. Let's also remember that living on your terms is an ongoing journey. It requires daily practice, reflection, and the willingness to learn and adapt. This approach isn't about achieving a state of perfection. It's about striving for personal excellence and peace of mind. It's about building a life where each decision reflects your deepest beliefs and aspirations. Let this discussion serve as a reminder that you are the author of your life story. You have the power to redefine your relationship with embarrassment and to transform it into a source of strength. By applying stoic wisdom, you can navigate life with confidence and grace, making choices that resonate with your true self. Thank you for joining us today on Stoic Journal. Remember, every day is a new chapter in your book of life. Write it boldly and authentically. Be sure to check out one of the suggested videos on the screen for more insights into living a stoic life. Your journey matters, and we're grateful to be a part of it. Until next time, keep embracing your path with courage and wisdom.